We are going to go ahead and get started. Um, as all of you all who work in our office know, the last several months we have been nominating and then voting on uh, um, Officer of the Month because obviously the work that they do is so important to the work that we do. We work so closely together. We wanted to make sure that uh, you know at some point they're able to be recognized for all the sacrifices that they make. Uh, and this month, our, our Officer of the Month is Detective Anthony Shannon. Um, so And tell you full disclosure that there are probably several people in the room who think that they nominated him, and you did because he got several nominations. Uh, several people nominated Detective Shannon because he really is awesome. Um, one person said Detective Shannon never fails to go the extra mile in helping the victim serve uh, victim service officers. Um, he'll locate and contact next of kin on homicides. He promptly returns emails and phone calls, even if he's not the case agent. Um, his investigations and case files are always put together and they're much easier for us to prosecute because they have 100% confidence in the work that Detective Shannon has done. Um, when he's called upon to testify, he's always prepared and always ready and makes it very difficult for the defense attorneys to cross-examine him. And most importantly, he treats everyone, whether it's the victims, the victims' families, um, our staff, whether the victims' families may be involved in questionable activity, everybody with respect. And everyone that he works with, seems, he makes them feel like they matter. Um, so I'd like for Detective Shannon to come on, come on up. Now, this is just what some of the people who nominated him said about him, but I want to kind of attest to Detective Shannon work, Shannon's work myself. I don't always get to work directly on his cases with him, but I do get to sit in grand jury and watch detectives come in and out um, to testify on their cases. I do get over to court sometimes and get to watch um, not only the lawyers do their jobs, but you all do your jobs too. And Detective Shannon really is an amazing detective and a cut above the rest. Not only is he dedicated to the work, and not only will he step outside, like you said, even if he's not the case agent, if it's something that we need and it's within his power to do, he's going to find it and do it. But he's also really smart. <laughs> and that helps when you're working too because you don't have to tell him every little step of the way. You know, you can have a conversation, he takes it, he goes off and, and does what he needs to do. So I know that the lawyers who work with his cases um, have a lot more confidence when they go in court because they know the back work is going to be done well. I will also attest to Detective Shannon's attitude, whether you're asking him to do something additional on a case, which is rare because he usually has his cases together, or just discussing a case at the early stages, whether he's talking to one of us, whether he's talking to a victim, whether he's trying to be the go-between between us and another case agent and get what we need. He always treats people with respect, and so they, they want to help him out because he's always um, out there helping us out. So I appreciate your hard work. I've been um, not only appreciative, but impressed with it. Um, since I've been in this position, so I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm so glad that you have an opportunity to get this recognition because you definitely deserve it. Thank you. No problem. This is saying something. This guy getting up and saying, "Thank you." Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've been doing eight felonies for I don't know, like two weeks. So I thought I was the baddest thing in the DA's office, and I got my prelim docket, and I went over, and I was running late as I usually am. And uh, I had a robbery, and I looked to see who my case agent was. It was some guy named A.A. A. Shannon. And they sent me another detective. He's not going to know what he's doing. i got to teach another one how to do, you know. He ain't going to know what's up. Well, I get over there late, and the judge comes barreling in. And I have no time to talk to Shannon at all. So I go back there. I'm like, hey, who's Shannon? He raises his hand. Hey, you're here on, you know, whatever. We good? Yeah. All right, well, I ain't got time to talk to you. We'll just figure it out. And I got up there and thought, man, what in the world is fixing to happen? And I go, tell us your name. Basically, tell us what happened. And he just laid it out. And I go, that's what I got. And then he got <laughs> I didn't have to ask him any more questions. I didn't have to go, hey, you said so-and-so. Didn't you really mean whatever? He just got up there and threw it down. And we got the case bound over. And I, I told him afterwards that he did a really good job. And uh, I did something that I, I try to do. I don't always do it as often as I need to. I don't even know who your supervisor was then. And I emailed his supervisor and said, hey, man, this, this guy is the real deal. Y'all need to pay attention to him, really appreciate what he's doing. And ever since then, <clears throat> I've never been disappointed one time when I've showed up to grand jury for Shan with Shannon or court 
or when I've called him and I, I just met his wife and I'm sorry because I know I've called him at least three or four times <laughs> and he goes, hey, I'm with my family, but what do you need? It's never, I'm too busy for you. It's never, I'm off duty, I just work late, I've been on call. It's always, let me stop whatever it is I'm doing and give you what you need to help these cases. And I, you don't know how much I appreciate that. That's, that's just the heart of a servant that you have. And I know from the way that you act and the way that you handle these cases, that that shield on your uh, badge on your shoulder means more than just some pretty decorations and a way to get a smoking hot woman. I know when I go to court, whether it's grand jury, prelim, or we go to trial, I know I've got somebody at my table, somebody that's worked on this case that cares about it just as much, if not more than I do, because there's no doubt he puts more hours in to a case solving it than we do going to court and trying. I've never been disappointed one time. I've never had to read a case file and go, man, let me call A.T. Mitchell and tell him Shannon didn't do whatever he needed to do. It's always been exactly what I needed, when I needed it, and how I needed it done. And uh, the, the folks, you do it for me, you help me out a lot, but the folks that you really do it for are the people whose, whose loved ones is dead. And um, they probably don't get the opportunity to thank you, and I'm sure if they could vote on Officer of the Month, you'd have it every month. And uh, I know they appreciate it, but I really appreciate it, and this office does too. Thank you. Yeah. And humble um, to receive such a, a prestigious award. Um, I'm grateful um, for you guys. Um, I, I, I appreciate the relationship that we have, and I'm praying that we can continue that relationship. And I'm certainly grateful to that young lady right there for putting up with me. Um, in, in, in spite of all that we have to do, um, homicide is a it's a different job. It's a very different job, and I'm grateful to God for allowing me to stand in this position and make a difference, a small difference. So thank you, thank you, and again, to my supervisors, thank you guys, and the guys that I work directly with on an everyday basis, Joey, Sergeant Gorham, thank you, I appreciate you guys. And Knock this, back here too. I'm sorry, I didn't see you knock, knock. Everybody that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm, I'm totally grateful, and I'm receiving this award on behalf of all of us. Awesome. Well, I got a letter for you. <laughs> no problem. I, I really honestly cannot think of anybody that would be more well deserved. Thank you. No problem. Let's get some. Um... And Daryl is stuck in Judge Harwood. That's the only reason that he's not here. <laughs>